So I'm super excited to share this little journey with you guys. Stay tuned to the end and I'll tell you guys a little bit about why we're moving. Here is the other side of the living room. But guys, look at this closet. If you get queasy, um, maybe turn the video off. Hi guys, welcome back. Sorry I have disappeared forever. I am Katie, if you are new, and welcome if you're new. Um, so we are moving. We are in a different location. You can hear that it's empty in here. Um, so I'm super excited to share this little journey with you guys and see kind of, um, sorry, I'm gonna try to figure out how to hold this camera. I got a new camera also and I have no idea what I'm doing with it. So I just wanna make sure that it's not wobbly for you guys. So like I said, we're in a new location. We take possession of this um, in a couple days, but I wanted to do an empty house tour with you guys and kind of show you what I'm thinking about. And then my next video is actually going to show you um, a bunch of the Target stuff that I've gotten. I need to share that with you because a lot of it is on sale right now. So I wanted to get that out and I wanted to show you guys all the things, all the changes, all the color changes and some other things that I need to get taken care of before we start moving next week. So um, let me start by saying we are renting this house. This is a four bedroom house. It's four bedroom, two and a half baths. Um, there's a little fenced in yard for a lady. We are very excited and very blessed. And I, I just, I cannot tell you guys how blessed I am to have found this. It is a brand new build. It, it, I could not have asked for more. So I just want to say thank you to every power that could have given this to us. And that just because I'm just, I'm super grateful for this opportunity to be able to move and live here and stay tuned to the end and i'll tell you guys a little bit about why we're moving um we are breaking our lease mid-lease so i will share why we're doing that with you guys but i am going to start sharing a ton of stuff over on instagram if you guys do not follow me it is over at katie james life over on instagram feel free go like comment i do a lot of stories usually like i said i've been quiet lately but that's just because of all the stress with everything and getting this situated and just what we were dealing with at home so I am gonna start sharing things that I buy for the house over there with links so you guys can like actively buy it if you want it or go look at it or go to your targets or go wherever you wanna go, like Ikea or wherever it is I'm shopping. Um, Walmart, I usually am at Walmart, Target, Ikea, those kind of places, but I wanna be able to share those things with you guys more actively just because I want you to be able to get the deals and the discounts that I get because I am a discount shopper. <laughs> I hate to pay a full price for things, so now that I've yacked for like six minutes, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna flip you guys around and we are gonna start the house tour. Okay, so here is the front door entryway. I really love this little entryway. I love all the windows in this house. It makes it feel a lot more open than what we have been dealing with. Um, here's the staircase. These are very wide stairs. Um, I still haven't measured anything up the staircase, but since I've been here the last couple minutes, I have measured a few of the other locations in the house. So. This is the entryway. I think it's about 20 feet long. This is just a hall closet. It is actually a pretty giant hall closet. So that's that. Hope you do. It's a giant hall closet. Um, here is the living room area. Super excited. As you can hear, there is no carpet in this house, so I'm going to be buying a ton of rugs. I'm gonna get some drapes, I think, for in here, for right there, just to kind of help. But like nobody can build like right here-ish. So there won't be anybody in there because it's just a dip. It's just, boop, it dips off. So anyway, here is the other side of the living room. This is a large, large room. I'm so excited for all this space because I feel like just this downstairs area was literally the entire size of our apartment. So over here is the dining room area. Like I said, we have a little fenced in backyard for a lady. Let me peek out there. We're gonna do a patio, like redo, because it's a tiny patio. So I'm gonna try to find some ways to like block out here so that our neighbors aren't looking in. So here's the island area, the kitchen area, the dining room area. We're gonna do some stuff with this wall I'm really excited about. We're actually gonna get a new like wine refrigerator, like beverage refrigerator to go right here because we have plenty of room now because we don't have that extra garage refrigerator. Um, I am just excited about the dishwasher. I'm not even gonna lie. And at the end of the video, you guys will understand why <laughs> that I'm excited about that dishwasher. So that's refrigerator, whatever. This pantry. Oh, guys, I cannot wait to be able to store all of my stuff in here and to be able to organize the pantry. I'm super excited to share that with you guys here soon. Um, and then this little area right here, this little cabinet, I think I'm going to just use this as like a charging station to keep stuff. So I've got to figure out a way. If you guys have any recommendations on charging stations or any way that you guys decorate yours, I would love to know. Share it here or share it over on Instagram. 
I would love to know what you guys do so I can get some ideas. Um, here is my laundry room. We're actually not gonna use this as the cat room, so I am super excited about that, that I can have my door either opened or closed in here and just use it as a laundry room. Right here we have a small powder room. I am excited to decorate this, so I am <laughs> going to decorate this one. We're not gonna paint anything, but I'll just say that I may use some of that peel and stick wallpaper, so stay tuned for that. And that door just goes up to our garage. It is a two car garage. So now I'm gonna take you guys upstairs. And like I said, there is no carpet in here, so you can definitely hear everything that goes on. I am gonna get some carpet stair treads in here because I am afraid the animals are gonna bust it. Like, Lady cannot, she's old. I mean, she's not old, she's only 12, but I just don't want them to like skid all the way down while I'm at work. Oh my God, I would die. And Kiki, old, I mean, that's, that's a far way down. <laughs> so here is the upstairs and it is a four bedroom, two and a half bath upstairs. So excited about all this space. So here's the first bathroom. This is our guest bathroom. It has two sinks, but guys, look at this closet. Look at this closet. It is so huge. I'm so excited about this closet. I mean, it's, I mean, we're in it. We're in it to win it. And I still have a ton of room in here. So that's the closet. I'm excited about the closet. And then the shower and the toilet are in its own little separate room here. Super fun. And I got a new shower curtain. It does look like I'm gonna have to buy a shower curtain rod. So glad that we came and looked at that. So we'll have to add that to the list for today. Ooh, yep, and it has two towel holders. So I'm gonna have to get another towel because I got new towels, a new uh, shower curtain for in there. So I'm excited about that. The next bedroom, like up at the top of the stairs right here, the next bedroom right here is the master bedroom. I love the ceilings. Let me see. Yep. The, they have trade ceilings in here. The bedroom and the living room have fans. The other rooms don't have fans in them. I'm so excited to have a fan back in our bedroom. I am so hot at night. It's so hot. So I'm super excited about this room too, guys, because we can decorate this. I'm gonna, I've got some stuff already ordered. I'm super excited about this, but I've got to measure uh, the floor in here because I want to get a pretty big rug to go in here. So here's the master bathroom, and these have the adult countertop heights that <laughs> I like. So it's like adult size. The other ones are not. I love all the light colored everything. I just, I'm so tired of dark and just being cramped in everywhere. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this bathroom yet, but I do have two towel roll holders, or towel holders, hand towel holders. Um, and Target has a ton of stuff on sale, so I may go ahead and go ahead and buy two hand towels. I love a decorative hand towel. I use them, I don't use them just for decoration. Um, here's the shower. It is, let me see if I can give you a good look. It's just a little shower. I love there's a little window up there. Um, it's just a shower insert, then the little toilet's there, and then here's our master closet. Um, it's a pretty good size, so what we're going to do is Justin's just going to use this closet as his closet, um, because I can't really do anything to the closets other than I'm trying to figure out different um, like things that I can use in here, and maybe get some more cubes and do that kind of stuff in here, because I want to be him to be able to utilize this space rather than just you know, being able to hang stuff up. I feel like that's just a waste of actual space. Then in here, there's another closet. The closet space in here is crazy. So this is the, I guess the linen closet for the master. I am just, I cannot tell you how much. I am so excited about all this space. So back into the master. So outside of the master, we're gonna go into one of the other bedrooms. So this bedroom right here, let me turn on. This bedroom is the smallest bedroom. I don't know what the size of this room is, but it's pretty small. I, I would guess that it's like a 10 by 11. And we are just gonna use this room as the cat box room. <laughs> the cat stuff is gonna stay in here. We have a little refrigerator. We're gonna keep their wet food up here with them so I don't have to go all the way downstairs in the mornings to feed them. And then I am just gonna use this room as like my storage room for all of my totes. So any of my Halloween, Christmas, Easter, Valentine's Day, they are all gonna be in here and we're gonna work on labeling them and getting them all right. So I'm super excited about that project coming too. Like I said, I've got a ton of things to do and I'm super excited. This closet is a little tiny closet. 
So we'll see how we utilize that. So this is gonna be our guest bedroom. This is just gonna be a certified like guest bedroom. So our current guest bedroom, all of the stuff that you guys have seen in past videos is gonna go in here. So that bed we're gonna put up on one of these walls, either this wall or this wall over here. Um, I'm not really gonna redecorate. I might get a rug for in here, but I am gonna repurpose, depending upon the wall we put the bed on, I'm gonna repurpose that smaller entryway table that I've got. It's kind of like a grayish color and a black wrought iron. And use that and put a small TV that we have that I have in storage. So that's that. And there's this closet. This closet actually is pretty big. Ooh, there are no lights. I don't know lights in the closet. So there's this closet. I didn't realize until just now um, that it goes all the way back here. So this closet actually has a lot of space also. So I'm excited about that, if you guys cannot tell. I am excited about closet space. So the fourth and final bedroom, this is gonna be our office. It has really good light in here. I'll be able to put my desk over here on this wall underneath this window. We're gonna get just some desks to match mine. Ikea has just been out of stock in them, so we haven't been able to get one. But his desk is either gonna go over on this wall or over on this wall. But we're looking at also maybe like a trundle bed situation or maybe a couch that pulls out so that if we have somebody smaller that stays here, they can just pull out a couch in here instead of having a whole nother bed in here. We'd rather use this for office space because we both need office space really bad. This closet though is my piece de la resistance. This thing is nuts. So this is the closet. <laughs> And it goes all the way back in here. There's a window in the closet. <laughs> like there's so much room here. I'm actually gonna decorate this closet and redo it. I'm looking for an old dresser to fit here. Like, so I need to come up here and measure this. But I'm looking for an old dresser that I can redo, like kind of a girly dresser that I can put in here um, and do that. I did get another set of cubes at Target and I'm gonna share that with you guys in my next video. But I also did share that over on Instagram too, so go check that out. Um, they were half off the other day. This is the upstairs. I'm super excited. So this is the upstairs. That was the downstairs. I'm so excited to share this stuff with you guys. Let me know what you guys think um, about the house. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Like I said, follow me over on Katie James Life over at Instagram. And I'm going to be sharing a ton of things that I'm buying for the house and redecorating and DIYing and getting things organized. It's my passion in life is to have my home. And I think that I have not been in a good mental state a little bit because I haven't been able to like do anything with the house. Like it's just been the apartment and we've just been sitting. We haven't been doing anything like just recently because the pool opened, we went out to the pool, but that is what it is. So I'm gonna take you guys downstairs. I'm gonna tell you guys why we're moving, one. And <laughs> just, if you get queasy, um, let me turn the video off because it's disgusting. All right, so story starts November of last year. So November of last year, we moved into our apartment, moved to North Carolina from Missouri. And when we moved in, I was very shocked by the state of my apartment and what my apartment looked like. Um, everything is rusted. Um, there was mold in the sinks. There is, I mean, when I say everything is rusted, I mean everything is rusted. My vents are rusted, every light fixture, every door hinge, every door handle, everything is rusted. The toilet, um, like the little caps that go on the toilet, like to cover the like bolt things that hold them the toilet in place, those are all falling off and there's rust all over the bottom of my toilets. The front bathroom, or what I call my second bathroom, not the master bathroom, that one, um, it's like they painted and just like painted everything and just didn't care. I can't get it up off the floor. Um, both bathtubs, the drain plug things are broken. They're not even attached. Um, like I said, everything is like not connected either. So like our sink, um, our kitchen sink, the um, faucet is like falling off. Like if you hit it too hard, it's gonna probably come off. I don't understand like what's going on either with the faucet itself, like the nozzle is disgusting. Like it's actually disgusting, um, but it gets better. So that's just like cosmetic stuff that we were like, cool, we can deal with that for like a year. Not a big deal, we can deal with it. I'm not that bougie about things. I'm like, okay, this is just an apartment. This is not a big deal. But I mean, I have never lived someplace and 
that it's, everything has just been that not taken care of. When you drive around the outside of the apartment complex, it doesn't look bad. You wouldn't know what it looks like on the inside. I'm gonna insert a picture here also, what our dumpster tends to look like on the weekends. We have to pay for a valet trash service. Well, they come pick stuff up. Well, they don't care if that trash compactor is broken or not. So this weekend that we, thank God we're out of town, um, this is the weekend that we decided that we were going to start making some moves and find some place else to live because we just couldn't live like this anymore. Like, we're just like, we cannot live in filth. There's a point to where, okay, cool, something's just old, fine, I, I can deal with that. I can totally deal with that and I can respect the fact that like, you know, poop happens and it is what it is. But this scenario and this picture just made me just, uh, we got home from vacation, we went to the beach for a couple days and I was like, this is literally not what we're coming home to. Literally not. And every day that we like walk out of the front of the apartment, you can just smell the dumpster. It's just gross. I just don't want to deal with it. Well then, starting in November, December, January, February, March, fast forward all the way through now June, we have cockroaches. And like, we have cockroaches. We don't have like one or two here or there. One day, the day that we decided to move, we were like, we're done. We were absolutely done. We found five. They were coming out of my dishwasher. They're coming out of my island. They were crawling at my walls. They, I mean, I just get so uncomfortable even like talking about it. Cause I'm like, imagine the ones we don't see. And then compared to the ones that like we are seeing and they carry diseases. I don't want to be around that. And I don't want them crawling out of my dishwasher and being around my food. If you guys have noticed, we bought a bar cart in my video. The reason we bought that bar cart is so I could keep my spices and everything out of the cabinets. I didn't want anything to be around my food. They're crawling across the counter. The other day we found one, it came out of the sink and it like scooched under into like the air fryer. I, I thought I was gonna lose it at that point. I'm like, we made the right decision. Cause you know how you make a decision. You're like, oh my God, what are we doing? Like, are we, cause this is way more expensive than what we're paying for. But North Carolina, like Raleigh area is just super expensive and I just had to make the decision. And I know that God doesn't put things in my plate if I can't handle them. So I was like, nope, I'm gonna take this risk. I'm gonna rip the bandaid off. And I want to take this risk because this is what gives us a better life. I do not wanna live in filth. A hundred percent, like I said, I can deal with like things being old. I can fix that. But things to be just legitimately filthy. The apartment complex basically ended up telling me through this whole thing, even though I have pictures, I have videos, I have everything documented. They basically told me I was lying and that they couldn't prove when these things happened. But he, he said, he goes, well, I don't feel like you're taking a picture of the same one every time. And I, I literally was like, I, I just sat and stared at him. I was like, what are you talking about? I'm not, I don't have time. I work full time. Like I don't have time to be playing games with you guys. Like this is not what this is about. I was very kind the entire time. Like Every time that I've gone down and talked to them, I've been very kind. They did try to help a little bit at the beginning, but then it's like, they weren't backing down. They were like, basically I'm lying. They went into the apartment while we were out of town and they, I, they told me they took the dishwasher out because they said they like to live around the motherboard and the dishwasher. And usually if there's an infestation that they'll just come crawling out. Well, supposedly that didn't happen. So I was like, okay, maybe they cleaned it up and just didn't tell me about it. But we found plenty more since then and we found them in other areas. They actually, <laughs> I was getting ready the other day, maybe like two weeks ago, and I was in the second bedroom and one just went crawling up the wall behind my mirror and I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, we've got to get out of here. So that's the long story. That's where I've been. I've been trying to deal with the apartment complex, trying to find a place to live here, still working full time. Um, Justin's got some stuff with his family. He's been flying back and forth to St. Louis that we've just had very unexpected, like, like life changing events that are going on right now. So thank you guys. If you are here with me, I apologize. I did not expect for this, any of this to happen. And I was so excited to get down here and have my smaller space and thought, okay, I can do this, but we need more space. We've got to be able to live our lives. I mean, we're both adults. Justin and I are grown adults. We're not in college anymore. Like, you know what I mean? Like I, I need my space. I want my home. I, anyway, whatever. Anyway, basically long story short, that's why we're moving. I'm excited to have this space. That's why I'm so grateful for this opportunity. And I'm so grateful to have this home 
to call ours. Um, like I said, we're renting it. I do not think that there is an option to buy these out here. These are all rentals. So this area that we live in, they're all rentals. So none of these are purchased. So I think it's a really cute idea. Like, and they still got plenty more. I'm looking back here on the back. They have plenty more to build. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys if you are new. I will have a ton of new content out. I am not gonna say what days right now because I'm just gonna try to get content out to you. Before I would kind of hold content back, but I just wanna get stuff out and I just wanna share things, whether or not it's a Tuesday, a Wednesday, a Thursday. Once I get more into a groove, I'll probably get more into having specific dates set like i'm gonna do it on monday wednesday fridays or whatever it is but so for right now i'm just gonna put out videos when i can get them out i'm gonna share it over on instagram over at katie james life and i will also share on youtube in the community tab i like to put things on there and updates on there that i've got for you guys but that's all i have for today my mouth is dry and i need to go drink some water and my arm hurts from my camera thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys the next one bye guys